Good morning, John. The other day I was on Twitter and I noticed a hashtag in the trending tab that I thought was appealing. It was appealing to me. It said nerd farters. And I was like, that's very funny. I wonder, I wonder what that is. And honestly, I was astounded to find that it was the hashtag of an October Nerdfighter art prompt challenge that I did not know existed. I found out about it through the trending tab on Twitter, which I famously dislike. But I suppose the product does deliver some useful information. Maybe not some, maybe just one. One piece of useful information, which was the existence of the Nerd Farters October Nerd Fighter Art Prompt Challenge. So the story is DFTBA Rachel had the idea, asked people if they would be interested, and then Sweet Carolyn came along and said, what if you called it? Nerd farters. People were into it. Rachel created this spooky graphic that had a different prompt for each of the 31 days in October. We're almost halfway through the month, and I wanted to share with you some of the genius that has been created, and I hope that more will continue coming. The first prompt was simply DFTBA, which people went in a lot of different directions with, and since it's the first one, I'll go ahead and show you all of them that were submitted. I won't do that for any of the other ones. The great thing about this is no one is really trying to be a virtuoso. Except for Alice. What the heck, Alice? Now, I'm not going to tell you any of my favorites of these, but my favorite is obviously the one where I get chased by the crab with a knife. Our next prompt, Pizza John Yourself, which is an exceptionally good prompt. Then we had Breezy Fall Day, which is a reference to my second novel. Thank you for that. Followed by just the word Pelican on October 4th, which is as delightful as you would expect. Next, we have Surprise Fiddle Concert, which you could do anything with, and then Nerd Fighteria, and then Pizza Miss, and then possibly my favorite prompt of the whole month, Draw a Crab. You have to do a bad job. It is one thing to be told that you can do a bad job, but I think that we need to require ourselves to do a bad job more often. Otherwise, it's just too much pressure and you will never do the thing because you think you're bad at the thing, but you can't get better at the thing if you don't do the thing. Going deeper into the lore here now, we have French the Llama and Puppy Sized Elephant. Then we got Million Dollar Idea featuring Surprisingly Edible and the Awesome Club Club. Which look, I'm not saying we're gonna do that, but I'm not saying that we aren't gonna do it either. Then this Wednesday, we had Pumpkins and Penguins, unsurprisingly full of delightful stuff, including an actual pumpkin, because it is indeed Halloween. And then yesterday the prompt was Hope is the Thing with Feathers, but I filmed this so early yesterday that there weren't any posted yet. So if you want to see them, you have to go look for the Nerdfarters hashtag on Twitter or follow Nerdfarters on Twitter. There were, of course, way too many nerd farts for me to post all of them in this video. And it only seems to have been growing organically as the month has gone on. And I very much hope that this video will inspire more people to go check it out and maybe submit a couple prompts yourself. Maybe you have to do a bad job. I really love all the prompts. I'm personally most looking forward to Robot Carl. That's exciting for me. Superior Fish Beings is going to be amazing. And also, of course, to s I am very excited to see your Lemon Men. After all these years of doing this and all of the other things that we do, I am very happy and excited to not be in control of many of the cool things that happen in this community. I think and call me crazy, that doing things is never about doing the best thing. I think that it is about doing things and ideally doing things with people that you like a lot and who are cool. And I am really feeling that energy right now, having discovered this organically, which is the strangest part. Like I'd seen a couple of arts, but I hadn't, I hadn't like put it together that it was part of a thing until the hashtag just popped up. Which I guess is why they do the hashtag. I just wish it wasn't constantly full of things that make me angry and sad. But sometimes it's full of the thing that makes me happy and happy. And what's the opposite of angry? I don't know. What's the opposite of angry? I haven't figured it out. Let me know if you know what the opposite of angry is. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.